Hello, my name is Gregor Mendel. I'm an Australian monk. Born in 822, but you might only know me because I am the father of genetics. Since I was little, I have been noticing the way patterns on plants are different and there are different looking results, which depends on how you breed them. I studied science and mathematics at Vienna's University, but it all officially started around 854. At a monastery garden, I decided to take care of it. There, I started doing some research about the transmission of hereditary traits in plant hybrids. There, we can also find my many pieces of observation or garden piece, which I believe are very interesting to study. It was very easy for me to carry out my investigations since the self-fertilization ability helped to produce many descendants in a short period of time. Between 856 and 863, I worked on an experiment with peas and its characteristics. There were seven distinct characteristics of pea plants. Plant height, pot shape and color, seed shape and color, and flower position as well as color. To do so, I first established pea lines with two different forms of a feature, such as tall versus short height. I grew these lines for generations until they were pure breeding then bred them to each other and observed how the traits were inherited. I discovered various patterns in inheritance. For example, one feature, such as tall, always concealed the other form, such as short, in the first generation after the cross. I called the visible form the dominant trait and the hidden form the recessive trait. I also found that the features were inherited independently. One feature, such as plant height, did not influence inheritance of other features, such as flower color or seed shape. In 865, I presented the results of the experiments. The four postulates and laws of inheritance are 1. Principle of hair factors. A character is representing an organism deployed by at least two factors. The two factors lie on the two homologous chromosomes at the same locus. 2. Principle of dominance. When two homozygous individuals with one or more sets of contrasting characters are crossed, the characters which appear in the hybrids of F1 generations are always the dominant characters and those do not appear in F1 offsprings are always the recessive characters. Number 3. Law of segregation or law of purity of gametes. The two factors, alleles, of a trait which remain together in an individual do not mix up but keep their identity distinct. Separate at the time of gamo gametogenesis, gametes formation, or sporogenesis, spores formation. Get randomly distributed to different gametes and then get paired again in different offsprings as per the principle of probability. And number four, law of independent assortment. After being satisfied with monohybrid crosses, I took into consideration two pairs of contrasting characters and started their inheritance. This law explains simultaneous inheritance of two plant characters. I must say, one of the biggest influences in my choosing of career was that I attended the University of Olomouc, and I was likely influenced by Johann Carl Nessler, a scientist interested in hereditary traits in agriculture, who taught there. Also, my pea plant experiments revolutionized the discussion of genetics. A similar discussion on hybridization and breeding had been taking place for nearly 100 years before I came in. Karl Nestler emphasized on the selective breeding. An easy way and graphic way in which everybody can understand my experiments is the Punet Square, which was elaborated by original Crundle Punet years after my death. Punet squares help us to predict traits by using a mathematical probability to help with the prediction of the genotype and phenotype combinations in genetic crosses in the easiest way possible. Pay attention as I'm about to explain in four simple steps how to. First, you have to identify the uppercase letter you will be using as a dominant allele and the same lowercase letter for a recessive allele. Note, the letters are based on the described traits. Second, you have to create the Punet square where on the top it will be placed the gametes of the parents with the dominant traits, while on the left it will be placed the gametes of the other parent who has the recessive traits. Third, you have to cross the letters in each of the squares, representing the way the phenotypes and genotypes combine. The descendants will be results on each square. 
And finally, you have to list possible, possible genotypes and phenotypes that are left by percentage and furthermore, the ratio. And thanks to these discoveries, we obtained the current understanding of genetics. It was my absolute pleasure to contribute to the story of genetics and to continue doing it in medicine's discovery. Thank you very much.